<laughs> the story I'm going to tell you, you're not going to believe. But every word of it is true. I know, because it happened to me. But enough about me. We really don't have time for all of that. And uh, by we, I mean me. <laughs> Dick Piston. <laughs> Hotel detective. Hotel detective. Friday night in the big city, and on a Friday night you'll catch me making my rounds at the Lakeview Hotel, a two-bit on pit on the upside of downtown. Any time before midnight, that is. Any time after midnight, you'll catch me drowning my proverbial sorrows in the five-star dive bar in the lobby of that hotel. But at ten minutes to. <laughs> 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 but at ten minutes to midnight, I'm here in my office, watching the clock. Not that I'm a proverbial stickler for whatever punctual people stickle for it. Not that I could use the overtime. But my boss had informed me that anyone who did use the overtime would be spending all their time Xeroxing resumes at the discount copy shop on the corner. Woo! <laughs> 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 some time now and was likely to continue hemorrhaging proverbial money until it stopped hemorrhaging potential hotel guests. And I only wish that were a metaphor. The Lakeview Hotel had the highest mortality rate of any luxury accommodations west of Baghdad. Or east of Baghdad. Or in Baghdad. You're right. In fact, as a hotel detective, I personally investigated six unsolved murders in the last five weeks, and committed four. <laughs> so management wasn't entirely happy with my proverbial job performance, and they let me know that anyone who clocked even one minute... <laughs> one minute of unauthorized overtime would be out of a proverbial job. Literally. And by anyone they meant me, Dick Piston, Hotel Detect. <laughs> so at ten minutes to midnight, I had my proverbial eyes glued to that literal clock. Because when that strikes twelve, my Friday night nightmares become somebody else's Saturday morning problem. So, if my luck holds true. Uh, Dick Piston, I need you. Lady Luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not the man you're looking for. <laughs> so, you're not Dick Piston? No, I'm not healthy. <laughs> wow, that's a really big name. Thank you, I polished it myself. <laughs> but you are the hotel. Aren't the letters supposed to be facing the other way? <laughs> Will that be 
enough? Depends on the crime. What's yours? I think they call it murder. <laughs> <laughs> See, I see, and uh, 
the shower where I was nude. Mr. Piston, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, everything per seemed perfectly normal, except for that horrible dead guy lying over there. You mean your husband? Yes, uh, that was his name, a guy. And he was horrible. Mrs. Guy, normally this is the point of the investigation where I rush up to your hotel room to examine the body, but we don't have that kind of time, so why don't we just cut to the proverbial okay. chase, shall we? One service. Right. 
I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh. <coughs> Accepted. <laughs> shame about the bell boy, though. Yeah, yeah, real shame. <laughs> Listen, my boss will have my proverbial head if she finds out I was uh, shooting innocent bystanders again. Uh, do you think we can just both agree that this was uh, self-inflicted? Uh, yeah, sure. He looks so sad at the moment he walks in here anyway. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, come on! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. A likely story. Where did your story? Yes, it is. Mind would agree to cover up the murder of a man who had nothing to do with the murder of her husband. Unless he had everything to do with the murder of her husband and she was in on it. Th th that could possibly mean two things, Mr. Piston. No. One, it could only mean one thing. <laughs> uh, no, you're still leaving one possibility, Mr. Piston. What's that? Uh, that this widow here is not in her right mind. Besides what I shot you a minute ago, that was... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I think you're forgetting the possibility that I too might not be in my right state of mind. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I took that into account when you chose to murder two people at your place of work!